race 38. It's a big race to Charles V. Gorbert Cap, two miles five. There's one more after this to go. Event Horizon. Craig Beckwith ready to go. Patrick Organ try and keep your hat on. Joshua Sutherland. Or Taylor Harvey Mark Cooper. Eternal Blade Patrick Organ. Or Taylor Majestic Mark Cooper. It's a can of drone. Hollywood. A Marsh Tet Pontypool Racing. Port Grayburn. Jim Murray. Monopoly. Fred. And Executive Perrin from Jimmy Hopkins. Jim Shays. Cora Inda. And Pass Saratoga. Alex Chet. 30 minutes for the big. And to chase you today, a Charlie Corbett, the Corbett Cup. And a couple of trainers in here. We don't usually see Jim Murray being one of those. Dropping the money into a Hunter's Chase. And of course, Joshua Sullivan has been known to do it before. He must be a hydra. Oh, he's trying his hand. Oh, that Hunter's Chase. He's rated 129 on the adults, 107 on the enter chase front. But he's not the top weight. That goes to Event Horizon or Craig Beckwith. And a long one towards the second fence. And Marsh Tit is the back marker. But it's a can of drum is the leader as they jump the ditch. Well we lost one there and that one was past Saratoga. Alex Cherry, who just had the last winner, there's only one in this race, is gone. So he won't be joining Derek Hinton on top man at the moment. And Derek's only runner in this race, is leading by about four to five on Port Greyburn in second. Dropping into an under chase, and one would try and keep your hat on. The Andes are Taylor Majestic. On the inside of these is the Jamie Hopkins trained executive pairing. Sorry about that, have you heard that? Some spell just hit my window. Oh, there it is again. I don't know what they're doing, them birds. Probably a cat. Yeah, full of cats around this area. I don't know, some of these people can't keep their cats in here. I like to feed the birds. As you know, I am the bird man of Alcatraz. As Doug used to call me, he used to hear my budgies on my comms back in the day. Um, you don't hear them no more because I ain't got no more budgies. They've all passed away the last one day in last summer. It's a can of drone. It's a pet free home now. Even the dog has deserted me. And it's a can of drone. It's clear. Oh, executive Perrin in Fort Greyburg. And you went to Raisin. Mars Tate is struggling and has been struggling all season. So I don't know what's wrong with my female chases, they really have not performed at all. It's a can of drone with a long way clear of Fort Greyburn and Executive Perrin, Alte Majestic, Event Horizon and ready to go. And try and keep your hat on. Court Heen down to these, then old Tabor Heartbeat. Eternal Blade, Monopoly Fred, and Marsh Tit. Here's a couple ends off them. I'll drop Marsh Tit down in the distance, see if it'll improve it. It's a can of drone though, it's still two limbs clear. She's going to try and make off and Fort Grey Burner. Could be a big danger in this for Jim Murray. Or Tear Majestic. Executive pairing and try and keep your eye on this probably other danger to the rest of them. And of course event devising Greg back with free trainers. You don't see very often in this part of the NH um NHS, the National Hunt <laughs> Spear. And it's a kind of drum. It's jumping well, but no, here comes to try and keep your eye on for Josh Sutherland. But the gold mile in between these old Jim Otay Majestic. Behind these comes a second pair and ready to go, trying to recoup some losses for Patrick Organ after the last race. And then behind these comes Otea Harvey, Fort Greyburn. He's hit that hard, Fort Greyburn was passed by the improving event horizon. They're inside the three now. And it's a try and keep your heart on his now a length ahead, offering second place Otea Majestic. 
back in for it. It's a can of draw and then Stein Poobin is ready to go and they go towards the final two fences and as they do so it's trying to keep her out on by a length now from ready to go in second. They come to this and he jumped it while the lead and he's now four limbs clear or tell him majestic moving back into second because ready to go made a mistake. Jumping here was from Patrick Ogle has cost him the day. They jumped the last and on the running for the line and they to try and keep your out on for just a run. He's well clear now, ready to go in second. It's a kind of drone for Otea Majestic, Fort Graven, Otea Harvey, Eternal Blade and Monopoly Fed because both mashed it and he went right in, right and both fell in the straight. But it's a win for Joseph Salant. I'm trying to keep your out on. Come down on plough the hunter chases today, Josh, and that's taking on to two for the season in the hunter's field.